You're listening to KEXP. I'm Don Slack, and I'm so honored to have in the studio with me today uh, Leanne Womack and her wonderful band who are joining us here in the KEXP studios. Thank you so much for stopping by KEXP today, Leanne. Yeah, thanks for having us. Oh, our pleasure for sure. Very happy to have you here. How about if you guys uh, play a couple of songs and then we'll chat a little bit? That's a good idea. We can do that. Let's do it. <laughs> Don't ask me if he's crossed my mind Cause that would be a waste of time It's a good thing he can't get me down He's someone else's heartache now I no longer toss and turn at night or pray to God that he's alright I could care less if he makes the rounds he's someone else's heartache now the things I say to just get here in the KEXP studios. That was just wonderful. Thank you very, very much. And um, we'll be chatting more here in a little bit, but maybe uh, another song here. 
would be cool. to go on just a box of photographs but every picture tells a story and every story has two heads I keep them separated in before and after piles somewhere in the middle is where mama lost her smile somewhere in the summer back in Daddy took a job in town and we all had to move I feel like there's one missing I felt it for a while One that's gonna tell me how mama lost her smile But you don't take is real life and they're about as different as black and white I don't know why it matters I just know it does it's not like it'll change things to find out what it was and she would never tell us cause that just ain't her style I wish I knew the reason why Mama lost her smile But you don't take pictures Of the bad times We only want to remember All the sunshine We don't live in pictures This is real life And they're about as different as black and white live here at the KEXP studios. That sounded just great. Thank you. Uh, one of the many wonderful songs on the new album, uh, The Lonely, The Lonesome, and The Con. Um, as I said, I'm very honored to have you here. I've been a big fan forever since, well, never again again. Hey, <laughs> All the way back to the beginning. <laughs> and, uh, but the new album is definitely one of my very favorites of yours. It's thank just, you. It's just a great sound and just great songwriting uh, throughout. Um, I heard you went back to Texas to record this one at Sugar Hill Studios in Houston. I did. Why did you yeah. decide to do that? Mm, I, um, I mean, it's, this is a new part of my career, and um, I sort of feel um, 
not like I'm starting over, but just new again. And, and, and I wanted to, to go back where I grew up and I had everything uh, uh, laid before me, you know, and, and I had all these hopes and dreams. And, and um, every time I go back there, I feel like that. And uh, I just wanted to be reminded of that. So it was just kind of like starting over again. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you co-wrote an awful lot of songs on the new record, like more than on any of your albums. Uh, did you decide you wanted to, to write more for this one? Uh, what was it? Uh, Why did you decide to write a lot more songs for the new album as opposed to, you know, what you've done before? Well, for one thing, I had a lot more time. Um, I, I had taken, you know, a few years off um, of working so hard. And, and so uh, another thing was just because... I had something to say, and, and I, I wasn't worried about um, uh, writing hits or anything like that. You know, I was just, just writing songs. That's great. Um, there are also some other great songs on there. I love the songs that you wrote, but there's also some other ones, some vintage and, and some newer. How do you decide which songs to include on the album? Mm. Um, well, producer helps decide that sort of thing, and, mm. and I just... Um, <clears throat> I mean, it sort of makes sense when you get everything done. There might be one or two that you're like, oh, this didn't work, but uh, we'll use it for something else later or on another record or whatever. But, um, you know, hopefully by the time you get to the end of the recording process, it sort of makes sense what should be on there. Yeah, there's a, there's a trio of, of really vintage songs on there that um, it was kind of a, well, a nice surprising trio in a way. They're all, you know, very different types of traditional country tunes. You had your old uh, George Jones gospel tune, one of his earlier recordings, and and then the old uh, uh, Lefty Frizzell. Um, I guess it almost sounds like an ancient folk song, even though a couple Nashville songwriters wrote it. But <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> and then you had uh, the Harlan Howard tune, He Called Me Baby, and mm -hmm. your version doesn't sound like, you know, Patsy's version or Ray Price or anything like that anything like that. It sounds actually more like Candy Staten's version, mm -hmm. uh, Soul Singer. Uh, were you influenced by Soul a lot growing up also? Well, yes. Um, I mean, I mostly listened to country music and, and I had a lot of church music, um, mm -hmm. gospel and just, you know, and just straight up hymns and stuff like that. So, um, but, but yes, I, you know, I would hear, I would watch Soul Train or something like that, you know, and, and I would think, oh, my gosh, that's so cool. So, yeah, um, I, I was influenced by um, Gladys Knight and, and Earth, Wind and & Fire and a lot of, a lot of like, poppy um, singer, soul singers at that time. And, and then, um, uh, you know, and then I think George Jones is a soul singer. Yeah, I do too, <laughs> for sure. In some ways, the new album, it's a, you know, it's some ways it's a very traditional country album, but in other ways it's not. It's also a very modern one. Like even like the title song, for example, almost explicitly defines it that way by, you know, um, d dismissing the nostalgia for old country songs in that song uh, while still being a new kind of like hardcore country song itself. Is that kind of what you were going for for the album is like being traditional but not being like a carbon copy of what was before? Yeah, I mean, I... I, I, I not not trying to make a period piece, you know, and not not trying to um, uh, repeat what's been done before, but um, uh, honor that. And and certainly, I wanted the the record to reflect my East Texas roots and everything that I grew up listening to. But um, but trying to move forward at the same time. It was a. Uh, by the way, it was just great seeing you at the tractor. It's such a uh, wonderful place. I love that club, and and seeing you at such an intimate venue is really really special. Are you, love, are you enjoying this tour? I love playing like that. Yeah. To be that close to all these guys, you know, and, and hear everything they're doing. And, yeah, it, it's a lot of fun, and the energy's a lot different. Um, you know, I'm usually on big, bigger stages where everybody's spread out, and, and, um, and that's really all I've ever done is that sort of thing. Um, so because I started right out in arenas opening for, you know, some of my friends. And, and, and so this is more, I mean, I'm having more fun than I've ever had. That's great. Well, it sounded like it last night, too. It <laughs> like you guys are having a blast up there. And while we were also, as you could probably tell. Good, good. <laughs> audience had a good time, for sure. Are you guys ready to do a couple more songs? Yeah. Leanne sure. Womack, live here on KEXP. Not a single word And if you do say something 
It's only about work And every time I ask you You just say we're good Well, either I'm a fool for asking Or you belong in Hollywood Watch the sun go down Ice and crystal glasses That's the only sound I say let's get away You just smile and say We should Well either I for asking or you belong in Hollywood like the silver Live here on KEXP and Swing Indoors, another great song from the new album, The Lonely, The Lonesome, and The Gone. And I think we're about ready to wrap things up here. And thank you so much for coming by the station today, Leanne. It's just been awesome having you here. Thanks for having us. A great place. Oh. I'll tell everybody to do it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right. I got all the trouble I'm ever gonna need I got all the trouble I'm ever gonna need I got all the trouble I'm ever gonna need and I just don't want no more is stacked against you life's a losing hand even when you think you're up you're right back down again either way you play it the house is gonna win it's hard being little it's hard being small you make it up that Standing big and tall Well, the trouble with the mountain There's a million ways to fall
got all the trouble I'm ever gonna need. I got all the trouble I'm ever gonna need. I got all the trouble I'm ever gonna need. And I, I just don't want no more. No, I, I just don't want no more. No more. No more. No Great. Leanne Womack live here on KEXP, All the Trouble, lead off song to the great new album, The Lonely, The Lonesome, and The Gone. Highly recommend you pick that up if you haven't yet to do so. Thank you once again, Leanne, for coming by the station. It was such an honor to have you here. Thanks, you guys, by the way, all of our wonderful band. You guys are just awesome. And uh, thanks to Kevin Suggs for producing this session. Uh, always great Kevin Suggs and the KEXP video crew of Jim Scott and Alia and Jen and Nancy doing hospitality. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much for helping out on this today. You are listening to KEXP Seattle. That's it. <laughs> oh, thank you. That was great. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.